What's up ladies and gentlemen, as you saw it is Jags Platinums and today we are going for the Platinum Trophy in UFC 5. Today we are breaking down 32 trophies so let's start with the very first one. This game I was very anticipated for so I made sure to pre-order it which gave me free Ultra Egos which happened to be a trophy. Probably first fight of the game right? Oh shit, shapeshifter. Acquire an ultra ego finish. Where the fuck did you see finish? Jags, come on, dog. We're locked in. We go back to that John Jones fight and we get thrown right into the action, practicing combos, learning how to grapple, and all we have to do is win the fight. Stand up. Boom. 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 Yeah, what's up? Stand up. Boom. What's up? What's up? Boom. Stand up. Stand up. Oh, oh. Headshot, bang, knock out an opponent on the same side they are damaged on. Twist his dick! Twist it! Grab his dick and twist it! Oh my god, dude, this is an MMA fight, dude! You Too twist much. that dick! Twist his dick! Twist his dick! Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh, dick twist! <laughs> We start the career mode off with Sugar Sean O'Malley and we get introduced to backyard fighting. Just because by the end you just get, oh shit, Slice versus Dreads. Enter the backyard in career mode. Knock another one down, baby. We finish the fight immediately and then we get noticed by a UFC coach who picks us up and puts us in his training course. Once we're done with training, he puts us in our first unofficial fight. Back it. Yeah, he's not even blocking. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ooh, the best there is. Upgrade a move during a fight or a training in career mode. We finish that fight and we go right back into training trying to learn how to do submissions and we accidentally popped a trophy. Oh, position over submission. Release a submission to advance your position. Damn, I'm a rapper. Eventually, with enough training, we went fight after fight, getting crazy knockouts to earn our first contract. Contract earned, and we gonna sign that name for a trophy, right? No Riz. I have absolutely no Riz. I get no bitches, but I do get UFC contracts. Remember that, by the way. Immediately after signing our contract, we get our first fight offer, and as soon as we accept it, you know we got another trophy. We're doing three weeks. Oh, showtime. Start your contender series training camp in career mode. With a new fight offer on the table, we go straight into the training drills, which now we can get graded on. We have to achieve the highest grade for a trophy, so we beat up on the instructor, and you know what happens next. Waiting for you. Oh, nerd. Achieve an A grade in a training drill in career mode. That's eight trophies. We take a break from the career mode to take a stab at the notorious blitz mode. You know, the mode that caused me so much pain and frustration in UFC 4. Come on, tell me I won. Tell me I fucking won. Tell me I won. Tell me I won. Tell me. Tell me right now. Come on. Come on. Tell me I won. Come on. What? Not wanting to relive the pain I felt during UFC 4, I was in fear on what I had to do this time. That's the thing, like, I'm trying to do, there it is. There it is. Tell me I didn't fucking win. A quick round. Enter a blitz battle. Tell me I didn't fucking win, bro. Okay, that trophy wasn't so bad. I wonder how hard the second trophy will be. Yep, yeah, there it is. Blitz battle there. Get to round three of Blitz battle first try. Easy peasy man. And just like that, I'm done with the Blitz mode. What? What the fuck? Crazy, right? Well, we move on to the online mode where my first fight, I get knocked the fuck out. Yep, I knew it. That's all right. Oh. Road to gold, start a season in online career, and I got my ass beat. 
For our next online opponent, we get to discover the new feature that UFC added to the game, which is called Dr. Stoppages. Once you attack a part of the opponent's body so much that it bleeds uncontrollably, the doctor will stop the fight to check on the other person. Let's believe. Have a doctor enter the cage to check out a cut? Ooh. Oh, I beat him so bad. After those fights, I had enough points to upgrade an attribute. Uh, oh, never skip leg day. Upgrade a fighter in online career. Keeping the momentum of winning the last match, I went on to the next one to knock him out in a special way. He could stay. It's just that. Boom, boom, relentless. Oh, finish a fight by ground and pound. The next day, while I was waiting for friends to get on for Killing Floor 2, the unimaginable happened. There was a trophy in UFC 4 to win 4 matches on online back to back to back, and I had struggled so hard that I actually asked people to let me win, but this time I knew things had to be different. Like, uh, should I play you with you? Right, and help me out a Can little bit. Can you some fights here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's gonna. Please don't tell me. And still, I did it! I did it! Fuck all you! I did it! Fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! I did it! Oh. You get in your own? Yes. Yeah. Oh. W. w yeah. Oh my w god! I'm shaking. <laughs> Cause I'm so shit at this game. One day I came home and I was just playing the career mode and I accidentally popped a trophy that I was completely not ready for. Oh, use a guard breaking strike to break your opponent's block. I didn't even know I was doing it. I was just playing for fun. And of course, what's a Jags Platinum's video without a trophy clip that I got while playing on the backbone? For this trophy, all we had to do was get ranked in the UFC. The next day we hop on, we make sure to smash out a bunch of trophies, with the first one being prestiging our online character, which probably took about 40 fights. Then we did a spin move to land us another trophy. Continuing our trophy train, we put our training partner into a submission for another trophy. With everything we were getting done in the career mode, we were just getting accolade after accolade. So we decided to decorate our player card and we got a few trophies for it. Getting a lot of the miscellaneous trophies out of the way, I decided to go for another one for doing five takedowns in a row. Then we got a knockout while we were in a clinch. And then I got another trophy for getting a different type of submission. After that, we spent hours and hours fighting opponent after opponent on the career mode until we eventually hit GOAT status. Oh, the best there ever will be become the GOAT in career mode. I, I knew it as soon as I hit him, bro. As soon as I hit him in the head that quick, I was like, yep, there goes that. Wow. The last trophy I needed for career mode was to prestige a move, and I noticed that submissions would level up the fastest, so I just spammed the same submission over and over again until I got the trophy. Boom, the best there ever was, prestige a move in career mode! Let's do it! No way! Now at this point, the Platinum Trophy was completely unobtainable for 13 days due to three specific Fight Week trophies. 
A fight week can only happen during the week that there was a pay-per-view event in real life. So we took a step back from the game and one day when I signed on during work, I got a few trophies. Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> With thoughts of being the very first achiever, I got straight to work and I made my votes to pick who would win the fight week. Unfortunately, my eagerness to succeed would also be my downfall. For the last fight week trophy, we had to complete 10 different challenges that were given to us. That sounds easy, right? Well, no, because when EA released these challenges, they would not mark themselves as complete after you did them, which would put my platinum trophy hunt at a standstill. There was an option to use coins to skip challenges, but when they first released the challenges, if you had tried to skip it, the game would take your coins and not mark the challenges as completed. Two hours later, EA finally got it fixed and we smashed out the challenges for the trophy. Nice jab by Covington. There it is, there it is. All right, I'm just gonna finish the fight. Here, knock me out, knock me out. Just in case, I want to save. Easy work, let's call. Unlock all challenges during a fight week. At this point, I was devastated because EA took 7,000 coins from me due to the glitches they had with their challenges. But I had one more trick up my sleeve. I bought some UFC coins so I could buy a legendary item and get my platinum trophy. Oh, maybe he did. Boom, boom, boom. Acquire a legendary idol, bitch, go. Mm. With the platinum popping, I was the 13th person in the world to achieve the platinum trophy. It would have been a lot faster without the glitches, but it is what it is. I still had a really fun time playing the game, and I plan to occasionally visit it on my downtime. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the ups and downs. Please make sure to leave a like, comment, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. It would help your boy out a lot, but I must say, it's Jags Platinums signing out.